Now I'm sure you've all seen the TV quiz show catchphrase where you gradually reveal parts of a picture and the contestants have to guess the phrase the saying from the amount of image that they can see. Now it is possible to do a slightly scaled down, less whizzy version of that in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is what I've mocked up in PowerPoint, but basically I've got an image hiding behind the boxes and you can click on any of the boxes in any order and it will remove the pictures one by one. So we could start by clicking over here and we can start by clicking over here and you can gradually reveal the picture. And the children can guess what the picture is. There might be more catchphrase style image if you want to, but it's quite easy to set up and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So I'm starting with a completely blank presentation in PowerPoint. The first thing I'm gonna do is insert an image. So for this one, I'm just gonna insert an online image. And the point of this game is when the children are going to guess what the image is, just name that animal. If you wanted to, you could download some dingbats or you could create some images using um, AI maybe that are a phrase or a saying or something else. But for this one, let's just do a, a lion reveal like so. What I'm going to do now is add some boxes to cover my image up with. So I'm gonna work out sort of roughly how big my boxes need to be. I'm gonna click on my image here, go to picture format, and I can see that it's 25.4 centimeters by 16.8 centimeters. So I can do a little bit of maths and divide that into three horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to insert a shape and I'm gonna draw a rectangle out. And I'm gonna click on the shape format and I'm gonna make that rectangle um, about 5.7 centimeters by eight. 0.7 centimeters so I can copy that one two three like so maybe slightly over so that's okay a little bit over that's fine and then if I click and hold down shift one two three copy those and paste those down like so and paste those down like so my image is completely covered by the boxes now what I'm going to do now is to make my life easier um, for the minute I'm going to put some numbers in the boxes and I'm going to rename the boxes so I'm going to just double click in this box here and a one two three four five six seven eight nine and if I go into um, up on the home menu to select and the selection pane I can see all the objects I've got here so the picture is called picture four but it's named the rectangles sort of rectangle 8, 9, 10, 11, which is a little bit of a pain. I'm going to click on box 1. And I'm just going to name that rectangle 1. Click on rectangle 2 and change that to 2. So now we're going to add the animations. So I'm going to click on my first box here. I'm going to go to the animations tab just there. Click on that down arrow and I'm going to choose fade. And what I'm then going to do is click on that box again and where you can see the animation painter I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to click on box number two, box number three, box number four and so on to apply that animation to each of the boxes. And if we look at the animation pane you can see that each of these now has an animation of fade. If I play that, they're gonna fade in time because that's what they're set to do at the moment on click. I don't want to fade on click, I want them to be triggered. So I'm gonna click box number one, trigger on the click of number one. Number two is gonna be triggered on the click of two. Number three is gonna be clicked on three. And now it's easy to remember which box is which because I've got the numbers all matching up. It just makes this bit a whole lot quicker. Number nine, trigger. Number nine, like so. So when I now go and I run my slideshow, when I click on box number one, it's going to disappear. But if I click on box number nine, that's going to disappear. Number five is going to disappear. Number seven is going to disappear and so on. So that all works, that's quite nice. Now you could add an extra level of challenge in here, so rather than just having the, the children call out a number, we maybe could add some sums to this. So it could look something like this, and we've got to answer the sum and then reveal what we see. So again, if we go to the slideshow from the current slide, the children then have to answer that particular sum and they can reveal the question. And you could make them harder maybe in the middle or something like that, it's up to you. 
So that's how you can create a catchphrase style game show slide within Microsoft PowerPoint. Do explore that. Let me know in the comments if that was good for you. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.